guys, what's up? My name's Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and you're watching part two of my review of the Skydio R2 Autonomous Drone. In the first segment, I talked more about the drone, some of the technical specifications, some of the things that I like and dislike about the drone. In this segment of my review, I want to do more of a hands-on approach, showing you guys a lot more footage, uh, some of the controls, and just talking about some of the practical aspects of using the drone and camera features. Let's talk about the image quality on this drone. They're using a Sony sensor. Um, they're claiming that it has 13 stops of dynamic range. For those of you who aren't camera geeks, that just means that the, the drone in theory should be able to see highlights, in the sky and also kind of see the shadow information without uh, overexposing for the highlights and without um, you know having muddy and grainy um, shadows and blacks now on this drone i don't know if they actually have the dynamic range that they're claiming which is 13 stops but I will say that the dynamic range on this is really, really good. I'm getting uh, detail in the shadows and I'm getting detail in the highlights and the drone just puts back some images where the colors look great. It's not overly saturated. The images that I'm getting right out of the camera, I mean, don't even really need any touch up. All of the images that you're seeing on screen now haven't been processed at all. These are straight out of the drone, straight out of the camera. And these are all of the automatic settings. I haven't gone into the camera to change anything at all. What you're seeing is just the automatic images coming straight out of the camera. I think it ranks right up there with DJI's best drones. Maybe not the uh, Hasselblad version of the uh, Mavic Pro, but uh, pretty close. So I'm really liking what I'm seeing out of this Sony sensor. It looks fantastic. And of course, if you're interested in buying this drone, probably the feature that you care the most about is how good is the autonomous tracking? I mean, that is kind of on this drone, it's selling feature that it sets it apart from any of the competition. And here's what I would say about that. It's unreal good. Um, the original version of this drone, the original Skydio, I saw videos that were cool, but the autonomous features, um, you know, still left something to be desired. The drone would follow people and do a pretty good job at that, but the camera movements were sometimes jerky. Well, with the Skydio R2, they've gotten rid of that. Now the camera movements on this drone are buttery smooth, and I'm getting images out of this drone that are really impressive and very cinematic. Furthermore, the obstacle avoidance on this is also at another level, which is necessary. If you're gonna have automatic tracking, you're gonna need obstacle avoidance to be equally as good. And that's where this drone really, in my opinion, again, blows away everything else out there on the market. The tracking capabilities and the obstacle avoidance on this drone are to the next level. They're, it's absolutely blowing away anything else out there on the market, including, you know, the king at this point, DJI. And even though right now I kind of have this love-hate relationship with the drone because there's just certain limitations and certain things that it doesn't do for me that DJI does, I still absolutely love this drone just because its tracking capabilities and obstacle avoidance are that good. Let's talk about the different flight modes or skills, I think is what the Skydio is calling them. The app comes with different flight modes and skills, similar to what DJI does with some of their cinematic, you know, um, selfie modes and droney modes and things like that. This drone has similar feature sets uh, where, that you can access and uh, they're all pretty good. I'll probably do another video at some point featuring all of the different skills. I don't really wanna go into that so much on this video, other than just to say they work and they work well and I've been really pleased with the images and kind of the cinematic quality that I'm getting out of those different skills and flight modes. Now in the first part of this video series review, I kind of crapped all over the uh, manual controller that um, you know was outsourced for the development of that or for the building of that. It does feel a little bit cheap. I don't love the you know tactile feel of that controller, but I will say one of the things that I really like about that controller is the gimbal movement. It has kind of this little bit of a lever on the controller as opposed to a dial similar to what DJI uses and I really like the idea of the lever because I'm able to uh, just kind of manipulate the gimbal and the camera movements 
a little bit more smoother than I am with the DJI uh, app or the DJI uh, controller. So even though the controller is cheap, I do like the way that I'm able to control the drone with that controller. I do feel like I have a little bit more control um, over the camera movements, the gimbal movements compared to DJI counterparts. Now, when it comes to using total manual controls, they're claiming that you're gonna get, you know, almost two miles. It's like 1.86 miles, I think. Uh, but they're claiming that you can get almost two miles of distance. I've gotten maybe like a quarter mile, maybe like three quarters of a mile out uh, before it starts to initiate a return to home because it lost signal. So nowhere close to what they're claiming. And on any of my DJI drones, uh, yes, they're that's certainly prone to having some sort of interference at times, especially in heavily congested uh, urban areas. Uh, but I'm not getting quite the detrimental effect uh, from DJI drones that I'm getting on the Skydio R2 drone. So the Skydio R2 drone really appears to be greatly impacted by other signals flying through the air, Wi-Fi signals flying through the air, and you're not gonna get the range, not anywhere close to the range that you're gonna get from DJI drones. Additionally, the DJI drones feel very nimble in the air. Um, even though the Mavic uh, Pro drones uh, are technically heavier than the Skydio, the Skydio feels heavier in the air. There's more drift, there's more um, kind of bobbing and weaving as the drone is kind of trying to hover. And if you've uh, got some momentum on the Skydio R2, R2 and then go to try to abruptly stop, you can definitely tell that it takes it several feet for it to kind of slow down and stop. That's not true with DJI. I feel like their drones have much more of a nimble, sporty feel. So when I go to stop a DJI drone, I feel like it stops on a dime right where I want it. You get a much more responsive experience coming from uh, a DJI drone and their manual controllers compared with the Skydio R2. The selling point of the Skydio R2 is, hey, we can track better than anybody else and we have better obstacle avoidance than anybody else. And so if that's what you're going for, then the Skydew R2 uh, takes the cake. On the other hand, if you want to explore the Grand Canyon and send your drone out a mile and a half away, well, then, you know, I would recommend you go with DJI. And so the drone is always kind of searching for something to track, as opposed to uh, other drones on the market that allow you to track something, you actually have to go into special flight modes or menus in order to enable uh, the drone to see something of interest that it might want to track. That's not so on this drone. It's just active all the time, ready to track whatever it is you might want to track. And I actually kind of like that. It just, you know, streamlines the whole experience. Hey, I bought this drone because I want tracking capabilities and I want obstacle avoidance. And it's definitely putting those features right at the forefront of the app, making it so that it's kind of bulletproof and dummy proof. So what do I think about the Skydio R2? Well, I think it's a massive leap forward in terms of drone capabilities. Um, and really, I've appreciated seeing that Skydio has already be, really been listening to uh, the user base. When I started out this review a couple of days ago, they were not including telemetry information in their app, so you weren't getting uh, your height, you weren't getting your distance, um, altitude information, things like that. They've already started including that now on the app. Uh, I got an update here today, and now telemetry information is being included. So Skydio is doing a great job supporting the product, um, and it's a fantastic product. And honestly, I sold my uh, DJI Mavic Air because it's just irrelevant now compared to what this drone can do. And so super excited to uh, dive into this drone even a little bit more and maybe have some additional videos coming out here in the near future. But wanted to share with you guys this amazing product. It is sold out for the next couple of months. Um, I was fortunate enough to find out about the drone very early on and be part of the first uh, kind of wave of shipments. But if you're interested in picking this up, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. Uh, this is not an affiliate link. I'm not receiving any sort of money from Skydio. I just believe this drone is such a great product that you guys should definitely check it out if you're in the market for a drone. And I would honestly um, you know, suggest this drone probably over anything else out there on the market right now including anything that DJI is um, you know, producing. So uh, this is my favorite drone. I think it's the best drone on the market and would encourage you guys to check it out. Thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time.